Austin's Police Oversight Office recommends changes to how and when APD uses force. It's part of a larger rewrite ordered by City Council last year following the deaths of George Floyd in Minnesota and Mike Ramos here in Austin. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark looks into how the recommendations apply to the way officers do their jobs. The fatal police shooting of Mike Ramos galvanized the community. Then, last month, an off-duty officer shot and killed Alex Gonzalez. I'm sorry, I, I can't even speak because I still haven't processed this. I can't even talk right because my world has been shattered. He was my everything. In both cases, an APD officer shot at a moving car with criminal suspects inside. The city's Office of Police Oversight wants changes to APD's policy on shooting into vehicles, noting in a newly released report it could kill innocent third parties. It suggests two exceptions, when a weapon other than the car is being used at officers, or if officers feel the car would be used in a mass casualty incident. It would be a significant improvement. Kathy Mitchell has promoted criminal justice reform at the Texas legislature for more than 20 years. If this had been in place in the case of Mike Ramos, it would have perhaps been more clear to those officers what the employer's expectation was. OPO's latest report suggests changes in eight use of force policy areas, according to Campaign Zero's eight can't wait policy recommendations. Retired police chief Bob Harrison tells me departments in Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Chicago have implemented them. But he says policies on paper don't always translate to the actual moment when it arrives. The average police shooting occurs generally three shots or less under a couple of seconds, which is a fantastically quick thing. Making a decision in life and death is fantastically quick. So you can't rely on, oh, we have a policy. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. Neither officer who fired their weapons at moving vehicles has been charged. The district attorney's talking, uh, rather taking the Ramos case to a grand jury next month.